Hello from Slider and hello from Weebs. What's going on guys? In the last vid, I was talking about Pythagorean triplets and I showed you a method which is very amateurish if you guys ask me. This vid, I'm gonna show you a professional way of doing this which is 5000 times more efficient than the one you saw in the last vid. So let me go ahead and show you the output. Between uh, 0 to 50, these are all those numbers that form a Pythagorean triplet. If you see 3, 4, 5 in the first place, 3 square plus 4 square gives you 5 square. So that makes a Pythagorean right angle triangle. That's what we are trying to find out in this program. So let's go ahead and see what happens. You have C square, A square plus B square. All we need to do is this. That's all. We just need to generate values for A and B. And we have to make sure that it's all possible combinations of A and B and that obey the above rule. All right. So let me go ahead. So here, if you see, I'm making a table over here. I'm going to show you some uh, common values for a and b and let's see what happens you have a as 1 b as 1 a square b square is 1 a square plus b square becomes 2 if you take the root that is c that becomes 1.414 right same way if you have a is 1 and b is 2 now this case everything changes a becomes a square is still 1 because a is 1 b square 4 5 2.236 and you go all the way like this keeping a equals to 1 and you go b up to 50 right so now if you see a square is 1 b square is 2500 a square plus b square is something and you get a decimal now let's take let's take a as 2 now again from b you go 1 to 50 right and ultimately what happens is this when you come to a at a specific value of a is 3 b is 4 this is what happens you have a square is 9 b square is 16 a square plus b square is 25 and bam look at that root of 25 is 5 that means 3 4 5 are pythagorean triplets right now if you observe the output 5 and the other earlier outputs which we got you can see that these numbers have decimal points 1.414 2.236 but 5 does not have any decimal number uh, any any numbers after the decimal point right so we need to find all such numbers after which when we take the square root they have no decimal points right so let's go ahead in that beats and see how the simple way of doing the pythagorean triplets program in the last vid i probably took a way which was very simple but it was very bad in terms of efficiency so let's go ahead and that means get this plane flying so here in that means have an empty project there is nothing much there is no need for user input over here all right all i need to do is verify this a square plus b square is c square right so for that i need all possible values of a and b right if you remember the presentation the slide which i showed you just now b went from 1 to 50 right so we are going to put a for loop by saying 4 int i equals 1 i less than equals 50 i plus plus and let's actually keep it b that way things will be simpler to understand i'll say b equals to 1 b less than 50 b plus plus all right so now if i print this system all right so if i print let's let's me let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 so as you guys can see it goes from 1 to 50 for b right now let's find all possible combinations of a also so that when a is 1 this goes 50 times a is 2 this goes 50 times a is 3 this goes 50 times so in short we'll say 4 int a equals 1 a less than equals 50 a plus plus and put this inside the other for loop so that we can get all possible combinations of a and b now if you guys go ahead and say a and put space between a and b print it out let's see what happens control s shift f6 as you guys can see this is printing all the possible combinations of a and b if you guys see uh, there is 49 over here a is 49 and goes all the way from 1 to 50 then a becomes 50 then again goes from all the way from 1, 1 to 50 right so with this being said now things are very simple all we need to do is add a square and b square and take the square root right so i'm gonna say int c square is a square plus b square right and all i need to do is take the square root of this uh, c square and check whether it is giving me a number with decimal points or not right so let let me go ahead and take the square root for this by saying double c root is math dot sqrt standard function for taking the square root math dot sqrt just tell it the number which you want to take square root for so here i take the square root of c square with math or sqrt method and i give it back to c root right so let me go ahead and print the c root and see what happens so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 all right there is a big list over here okay now this is the thing which we wanted right if you see the 60.0 that's actually a number with nothing after the decimal point but if you see the other numbers then they have something or the other right again 52 now these are the kind of numbers which you want to filter out from the rest right so for filtering out i'm gonna use a weird trick over here now if you take this number 50.28 i'm gonna round this off and i'm gonna round this off with a special function called seal c-e-i-l math dot seal all right now what that does is any number after this if it sees it is gonna t simply take it to the higher integer for example if you have 50.2 and if you round it off it says 51 50.5 round it off 51 50.8 round it off 51 but if you round 50 off it's gonna give 50 back so let me go ahead and show you what i mean if I say my C root and if I put a space between them, 
and if I use that special function by saying math dot seal and the same C root now let, let's see just what happens control s shift f6 now if you guys notice there is something coming up right after the rounding so if you guys see over here 53.33 gets rounded off to 54 52.83 gets rounded off to 53 in short it gets rounded off to the next highest integer it doesn't matter whether the number is greater than 0.5 or less than 0.5 or whatever but if you see a round figure let me go ahead and find one number which does not have a decimal and that will explain everything to you guys so here take a look 49.72 becomes 50 right but 50 stays as 50 that means these are the numbers which do not have any uh, part after the decimal point right so in short we can actually say that if c root equals equals math dot seal of c root that means the numbers are same then those are the numbers that form the pythagorean triplets right we're going to see system dot out dot print ln a space b space c right let me go ahead and uh, run this okay it's going to be c root control s shift f6 and bam there you go 3 4 5.0 actually i don't need this 5.0 that that makes looks uh, that makes things look pretty awkward with that right so let me go ahead and put a int over here to typecast it to an integer all right now let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 if you say 3 4 5 4 3 5 5 12 13 6 8 10 now these are all those numbers for which 3 square plus 4 square is 5 square 5 square plus 12 square is 13 square and so on so in short we're getting the pythagorean triplets perfectly right so this method is 5000 times faster than the previous method if you take a size of 5000 over here all right so if you guys don't believe me go ahead and run both the programs if with a big number and the size over here and here all right so you guys will notice the difference I hope you guys understood something out of this video. It's a pretty simple program. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.